the earlier you raise money, the more equity you lose because you are not yet as valuable. If you raise money later, you will give away less equity or you may not even need equity. So one thing I advise is if a business is cash flow positive, go for a loan instead of equity. Why? Once a business starts making sales and sales is no longer a problem, you've solved one of the hardest problems of the business. Why would you allow somebody come and take ownership in your business after you've already solved most of the problems? The person is coming for a free ride. When you need equity the most is when your business is still risky, when you've not figured out sales, when you're still struggling to stay open as a startup. That's when you need somebody to share risk with you. That's when you take equity. But when you've already sorted out most of the risk and the business is now a cash generating machine, why would you invite somebody to come and take equity, majority equity? You are, I'm not saying you cannot give away equity, but majority equity, it, it doesn't make sense. So for a business that's cash flow positive, explore loans. But remember what I said about loans in the beginning. Structure it in such a way that it helps the that it helps the, the cash profile of your business. If you are taking the loan from a bank, the bank's loans are boilerplates because they come from headquarters. You can't really change a lot with bank loans. But if you are taking a loan from a non-bank entity, you can influence the timing of the repayments. You can influence the interest rates. You can influence the duration, the tenor of the loan. So those are the things I'm going to, um, I'm going to um, um, encourage you to do. The other thing I'm going to also ask you, is not a popular suggestion, but if you're already making money, if you're already profitable, why don't you want to be organic? What is the, what is the pressure to raise money? If you're already making, because the cheapest kind of capital is internally generated, accumulated capital internally is the cheapest form of capital. The next level after that is loans. The most expensive is equity. I know for, for some of you, you might, um, you might doubt that equity is, um, is more expensive than loans. But guess what? When you have a loan, the duration of that relationship is fixed. I'm owing you money and I'm supposed to pay back in one year, three years, five years. The duration is fixed. When it is done, you don't have any business with the lender. Equity is not like that. It's like you're going to get married to somebody for the next 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. You know, and if you don't, if you, the divorce can be bitter, right? So equity is more like a marriage. Loan is a, is a transactional thing. It's, it's a matter of convenience. So that's why you have to be careful before you get somebody on board as an equity holder. They can frustrate the hell out of you or they can turn into, they can turn into um, fertilizer that supports your business and grows it beyond your expectations.